Hello and welcome back to Atrocious Gameplay. We're over in part two of Inscription. If you missed part one, go check out the iCard up top so then you're up to date of this very mysterious game. We got through phase one, and so now we're moving on to phase two with the rank smell of rotten mold permeating the human air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. I can't even remember what the last area we were in, but this is called the wetlands. So now we're going to get free card. I always love free. Oh, this is the little flower that we got earlier. Oh, he said when we got that, he was like, I guess you don't like my cards. I don't know. The invaluable beehive. When it is attacked, you will draw a bee. The venerable alpha. Its courage emboldens the creature that stands beside it. Oh, I remember this from our last episode. This is a cool card. And the river snapper. Ah, uh, an alpha costs five bones. Oh my gosh. Um... Oh, I can look at all the things that cost bones that I have. I don't have too many things that cost bones. I'll take the bones. I like the alpha. It's good for some of my smaller peeps. I don't know what that is. I'm going to go to that. I want to learn. It's early. It's early game. We'll be fine. You came across some familiar stones, but there was something different. You intuit that the fate of the creature selected this would not be pleasant. What? Uh, what is the cage wolf? Sorry, Lewis. Sorry, Lewis. You callously slaughtered Lewis. However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. A minor boon of the Bone Lord. You will start each battle with one extra bone. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it, honestly. I just took something that cost five bones. I'll take the extra bone. I didn't really use Lewis anyways. You shook off the Vicera, the poor Lewis, and carried onwards. Okay, so fight time, fight night. Getting my bone, like that bone. I can't do anything yet, so. I'm gonna just do this. I'm gonna let the bullfrog come in, do some damage. I'm gonna take the squirrel. What if I put the cage wolf in? Um, We're gonna go squirrel. Squirrel. Caged wolf. What is what is this up here? A coyote? I'm gonna put the caged wolf here. Because it'll do a bunch of damage. And then I'm gonna put the possum there. And we're gonna go in. Okay, I get a bone out of that. I get a squirrel. I could go squirrel again. I don't need the extra bones. I'm going to do this to stop powering up the damage. I could have just left it, to be honest. Oh, I just lost. I think I would have lost anyways. Maybe I should have put the wolf on the other side. How disappointing. Frick, dude. Okay. I'm a lot better than this. <laughs> Am I, though? The bullfrog leaps in the way of attacking flyers. Mantis. Tragic rat king. When the tangled bodies become corpse, you will gain four bones. I'm gonna click this. Oh, I just get a new set. Okay, let's hope this is better. An adder, a bullfrog, and an elk. This was not better. I'm gonna go bullfrog. Block the flying. Maybe that'll be good. Uh, backpack, fire. I need fire. Ooh, one power. 
Warm a creature by the fire, enhance its power, said a hungry survivor. Yes. No. Um. Is it still going to be with me for the long haul? Maybe the opossum. I'm going to go opossum. The fire warmed the wary opossum and enhanced its power. You suspected the intentions of the survivors were less than pure. With your opossum in tow, you returned to the woods. I felt like that was a good choice. Potentially. I didn't want to do a totem fight. Okay, what do you got? Bullfrog? I'm gonna go squirrel and then mantis here to go. We're gonna go possum here. Cause the mantis is gonna hit this, so it's fine. And I think I just win, right? <laughs> I think I just won. There's a chance I can do more damage, which is not going to be the case with the stoat, so I just I get some extra. Maybe I should have pulled a tooth to get another damage out. What is that? If I do this, I can do a totem thing or a power up. So I'm going to go this way. One to find out what it is, but two. You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beast lurked within. Pass one of my trials and I will be yours in a raspy voice. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again, but first you will choose a trial. Trial of power. The three cards drawn must have at least four attack power to combine to pass. Trial of blood. The three drawn cards must at least cost four blood combined to pass. Trial of health. The three drawn cards must at least have six health combined to pass. I'm gonna go with this because I got some things that have two. Most everything at least has one. So I'm going to do this. The trial of power begin. It has to be four. <laughs> Are you no, 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 no. joking me? <laughs> Man, f*** this game. Failure, the creature whispered as it faded into the blackness. Okay, fine, but I'm going to get either a combiner or a power up now. I'm going to get a combiner. The choice is yours. Um, I could take the bullfrog flying. I mean, the bullfrog's like not that great. I could get undying. Ooh, let's do this. Four bones is a lot. What do I want to not die or to continue like living? <gasps> what about an ant? What about the ant queen? What if I make the ant queen undying? Then I could always get ants, right? Or I could get a worker ant? No, I think the ant queen. No, let's go the worker ant. Let's do an undying worker ant. Okay, let's do that. I feel good about that, actually. Now I just need more ants. Okay, fight time. Extra bone. Thank you. Okay, what do we have here? Kingfishes. Oh, do they they hit over and then they go under, right? Is that how that works? What does the thing do? When a card bearing this sigil would be struck, a tail's created in its place, and the card bearing the sigil moves to the right. What? So I do want a bullfrog though, right? I want to block the flying. And I want to go here. No, because I want to eventually deal out damage. Another bird. gonna do one two three this is not good 
I can't win, right? Yeah, I can't win. Even if I pulled a tooth, I wouldn't have won. Oh my god, I lost again! It's time for you to perish. I just take me away. Greb. <sighs> Am I not doing this game right? I must be thinking about it like not enough. There's no need to move. I'm afraid you're not dead yet. Hold still. Where did I put that camera of mine? So the camera's in a different spot? Did you really think I would leave film in there? Do you have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. Okay, sorry. We have a memento to create. Why did that get like video? Did that get? Huh. Behold your death card. Shall we begin to ink it? Choose a card to draw the cost from. Also, did I lose my cat? because I chose it earlier, because I haven't seen my cat in my deck. Uh, just cost of, uh, one, right? Power and health. Be a one, four. Ah, this one. I hope it doesn't kill that. Extract the sigil. Oh no, I still got that. Well, I had two bullfrogs. Uh, let's do this one. This one looks good. Get extra on that. Never did ask you your name. Well, since this is the second time, I'll do Jake. One thing remains. I must capture your visage. <laughs> Say cheese. I'm so bad at this game. I mean, the channel name is atrocious gameplay. If you didn't expect, like, I mean, I don't lie here. It's such high hopes for that last one. Why do I bother trying to teach you? You will learn as we go, or you will die. Seems the lowly stink bug has made its way in, but it is dealt, so it stands. What about him? Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get up real quick. That was not there before. There's got to be something about this, right? <gasps> Extra teeth, baby. Shiny teeth in me. Now, I've already won all these. Hmm. Nothing in there. This was like wolf squirrel earlier. Still don't know what that is. All right, buddy, what do you got? I don't know what this is. Is this a trial thing? You may not choose a specific beast. Instead, you must now decide on a tribe that you prefer. A tribe. Is that an ant or just an insect? I'm gonna go with the insect. The digital ant. Its strength is proportionate to the size of its colony. A randomly chosen insect card. Do you wish for something else? No, I, I take that. I have an ant already and I got an ant queen, so that looks perfect. What is this? An ancient woman emerged from behind the oak tree. She carefully laid out an intricate wood carvings and then gestured at them briskly. Choose! Oh, in the thing, in the, the thing a thing, um... He got, like, all of his dogs or whatever got, like, a super power-up. So, like, the bones? So now my squirrels give extra bones when they die? Okay. <laughs> Doesn't seem that great right now. The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The Bone King sigil will now be marked upon all your squirrel creatures. 
I mean, it doesn't seem... I mean, it, if I had more things with bones, it would be better. Like that cost bones. I got rid of my opossum earlier, but it's whatever. It's something at least useful. Because my squirrels aren't going to stay on the field. Oh, actually, they could for stalling purposes. Frick. I messed up. Um, so river otter and coyote. So the river otter is going to stay... Squirrel's gonna die though and give me a whole bunch. So let's just like. Go there and then I can stink bug. Right here. And then go there. I could have put the stink bug right here actually. That stings. Uh, We'll go here and we'll just pass. Go here. Nice worker ant going on. Okay, I just won that, so... I wanted to, like, try to find a way to do extra damage, but I couldn't. This is the trial. Okay, what is this? Or no, this is the, the, the crew. I think I just go for more squirrels, right? Or, okay, I mean bug. Okay, new totem, I'm okay with this. The bones of the ancient woman creaked in groans as she approached. She gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. Okay, so I can get flying squirrels, doesn't seem that great. I could get boned snakes, which also doesn't seem that great, or boned uh, deer. I mean, I guess like things that need to be useful, I guess we take that, but like I'm only combining these two right now because squirrels giving bones just feels like the best. I don't think flying squirrels help. The old woman collected her pieces and shuffled off into the darkness. Cause like, my squirrels aren't attacking, so why do they need to be flying? <laughs> you know? There's no need for it. Yeah, that for a reason. The cards seem useless, but I think there's more to it. What was that first thing? The caged wolf? Okay, I need to try to get a caged wolf on the field this game. Okay, so the the bronghorn is going to shuffle. Let's do the Super Bowl shuffle. I'm going to put my ant on the field right here. I'm going to put my stink bug right here. And then we're going to go in. We might take one damage, but it's going to shuffle to the side. Hmm. Okay, but now it's not going to do any damage. So, like, I'm not worried about it. So, it's like, yeah, I took some damage, but it, like, it's all for the best. I just get so many bones right now. Oh, he did shuffle over. Okay. The mantis is there okay yeah i can do extra damage right here to win the game it's like two extra damage for that but it's two extra damage that's worth it for the mantis because this guy this guy right here because i want to buy pelts off him the most exquisite pelts because yeah i need teeth the first is free um i could take like Oh, I've got five. I've got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go this and this. And then we'll take them. Much appreciated. And so now we can power up or combine. I think we power up. One power, okay. The crackling fire lit the starving faces of the group of survivors. We have not food, one said. But perhaps one of your creatures will join us, enhance its power, said another. <laughs> Choose wisely, please now. I'm gonna go with the mantis. Like, going side to side doing extra damage seems broken. The power of the mantis was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from the pocket you withdrew. Okay, now fight time. Let's use this mantis for the fight. 
Okay. So, we got the pelt. Oh, yeah, that's right, because we haven't met the dude yet. We got wolves out here. I want the coyote out. I'm going to take the emergency squirrel. And we're going to put... We're going to put the cage wolf out. We're going to see what this dude's all about. I do need a squirrel. Do I just, like, stall with the squirrel at this point? No, I just go here and take out this uh, thing. Let the coyote come in. I'm, like, almost going to lose here. <laughs> I need to put the squirrel here. It's gonna wipe out, uncage the managree. Oh, I got a wolf. What was that? Okay, I took a wolf, that's good, but I don't have anything else, like literally nothing else to go. I need to pull a bone. Greetings. Okay, this is good. I still like lose though, right? I still lose. Unless I put the wolf pelt down. Okay. Takes that out. I get a squirrel. Okay, I guess I'm fine now. And I just keep putting squirrels out to... Like, <laughs> save me. Okay, no extra teeth, but that's fine, because we were in a tricky, tricky spot. Um, this is the crew. We could do a power-up, or we could get a totem. I need a new totem. I don't have enough things that have bones. I'm gonna go with you. A coyote? Okay, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I just... Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Coyotes are fine because I have a ton of bones. That's literally one squirrel. She moved to a certain vigor, spite of a considerable age. What is this? When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. That's pretty good. I don't know if I want it with my squirrels, though. My squirrels could be ants. Ooh. I'm going to take that. What if I did this? You hunched down to place an offering in your pact. When you looked up again, the ancient woman had vanished. I'm gonna try that. Oh God, it's this chum bucket. I'm a little scared, not gonna lie. I do get the smoke though. Chill mist calmed in all around you. You were not alone. A figure emerged from the fog. Yeah, standing in my gold, 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 gold. I got ants. So wait, what happens when I put you down? I do get a worker ant. Okay, cool. Um, I need to KO you. And then I need to smoke you. Oh, I don't have bones because I don't have squirrel bones. I'm going to mantis you to put this here. And then I'm gonna do this. Did I just win? No, I just did a horrible play. I just won that turn. That is, that was so bad. That was so bad. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, I'm throwing. I got too greedy. I'm so mad. Uh, we do this. We get worker ant. I do get a worker ant in my hand because of that. So I go here. And I just try to do damage, I guess.
get rid of the that. Get an extra damage off. Does the wolf cub change this turn? No, it doesn't. Okay. Let's go here. We get the bullfrog. The bullfrog only does that. I should have put the ant down. Oh, frick. I'm sacrificing the bullfrog. Yeah, two ant right there. And then we have three ant right here. Okay, this is good. This is good. I just did this. Okay. So the ant squirrels worked out really, really well. I just got super careless there right at the end. Because now we're doing six damage right there. Nice. And we get some extras. Okay, that was a little bit scary. But it worked out. We didn't freaking lose that time. Let me relight your candles. Okay, that was scary though. Very well, you may choose a rare card. God, an abandoned child it does not die when sacrificed, but do you have the heart to try? Canine hooved, reptilian feathered, insectoid, the amalgamin is all. And a gek. I'm gonna go with child 13 because it was undying. I've really missed the undying cat. So I want it back. After the harrowing encounter with the prospector, you gathered yourselves and continued onwards. Let me see. The air grew thick with moisture. The buzzing and chirping of insects down drowned the sound of the footfalls. Behold the wetlands. Okay, so this... I forget what you do. Oh, this is the trial. Okay, trial of blood, trial of power, trial of health. I'm going to go with trial of power again. Please, for the love of God. I hate the pelts. I hate the pelts so much. Um, Backpack, I should restock. I should restock. I don't have, like, anything. I will take a squirrel. Bones, teeth. I'll take a squirrel. Oh, no, you can't use that. I'm going to take it, though. You said I can't use it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I don't know what it does, but I'm going to take it. Okay. So fight time. Look, there's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with the plan to get things back to normal. Okay, but like, what do I do to get you there? That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm trying to think. I could just get the ants doing damage right now. Cause I'm, if I just trade with the wing fishers, I'm, I'm going to win that fight every time. Cause I just do more damage. So they just do two and I do four again. Which honestly I can do even more because of the stoat. Or the other ant. So the squirrel ants are insane. Because now I just did nine. Look at all this excess damage I'm doing now. Okay, squirrel ants are awesome. They're pretty sweet. A little scary though, but they could work out. Adder, bullfrog, kingfisher, the adept kingfisher, slippery hunter. I think I want bullfrog. I feel like more times I just want a wall rather than something doing damage. I don't know what this is. I know what this is, and I know what that is. I'm curious. What's over here? Found yourself a of grove of thick and pungent mushrooms. You squinted to see a figure through the thick cloud of spores. You are the Nakalala, yes? Yes. And we are performing our expansion from, 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 from. You are not welcome elsewhere. You are experiment on your flock, yes? We only need two of the same creatures, one for each of us. Okay, I can do that, right? Yeah, I got two bullfrogs, two pelts. I want to put the bullfrogs together. I think this could get messy. Look away. Oh! Oh, 
Oh, murder on that. Oh, okay. Two, four for the same. Okay. It is now one. I don't know what the pelts would have done. Maybe it would have like upgraded the pelt if I did that, but I don't know. It's me. What do you do? I'm serious. You cannot use that. There's no possible use for it. I'll place it on that shelf over there for now. My advice, avoid it. See, that just tells me to go to it later. Okay, so you got a flying bee. I can hit the bee. I'm just going to start bringing up my ants. I'm just going to start getting the whole colony out here, okay? Starting with two pelts in a hand. Okay. Uh, so I grab squirrel, right? Because I just go squirrel, ant, squirrel, and then I just do more damage. I'm knocking them out left and right. Ooh. And so then I go another squirrel, and I go here, and I get another ant, and I squirrel the ant! And then I go bang bang, excess, and boom! And then I get some extra, little extra teeth for my dentures. Um, I had the pelts. I'm pretty good on the totem. So I think I'm gonna go this way. Just get a mystery card for now. I didn't read what that was. I don't think I have a river snapper in my deck anymore. We'll go with the elk fawn. It levels up. We're going to put the pelts together. We'll see what happens. I've got a bunch more teeth. I can buy more pelts. Two of the same of us. I'd like to experiment. What happens when we do this? You may want to avert your eyes. I mean, the pelt's are already dead, right? Oh, goody. I guess it's like more of a wall, I guess. I don't know. I'm just good on my totem right now, so I'd rather just figure out what happened. A child. Um, Do I want to know what happens to the sacrificed child? Yes. It's an undying child. <gasps> Whoa, he's flying now. Okay, Pog, I'll take it. I could put a wolf down and just, I mean, the child. I mean, it's bad via bat. Can flying hit flying? Does it work like that? I don't know. I'm going to find out. I mean, he's undying. So... No, it does not. Okay. I'm going to do this, but I'm going to go wolf right here to get rid of the trunk. And I'm going to go ant to put that to block. Oh, I... When I did him again, he changed. That's intriguing. I think I just win, right? Yeah, I can do five. Oh, yeah. Oh, so this game's over. Oh, okay. I guess I can't do anything there. Yeah, the game's just over. Huh, interesting. Child is interesting, but I only want to do him once. So if there's a chance, I think I may want to take the undying off of him. Because I don't want to mess with that. Like, I want the undying to be like the cat where it just constantly goes. You encountered a small outpost in the woods, tented by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance is unsettling, but you are mortified by her offerings, or mortified. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? I've got that. What have you done to that pelt? 
tumultuous, yet I must have it. What do you think of these? Oh, snap, dude! What? Okay. I could go double mantis, double roach. I'm gonna go double mantis. Mantis is good. Wolf pelts too exquisite. Whoa. Oh, this could be cool. What is that? What is that magnifying glass? When you draw from your deck, you may choose any card in your deck to draw. I'm taking it. Taking it. Uh, oh, book's gone. Okay, good. Okay, uh, totem, bag, fire. I'm gonna go with the bag. We're about to hit a boss fight, and I'm like out of items almost. I'll skip my next turn. I'm gonna do this. This seems really good. Extra bones, cut up a card, or a fan. We'll cut up a card. Okay. This looks like a different boss fight because it wasn't the pickaxe, uh, dude. I do get my smoke, though, because I do want that smoke. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a blackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from the pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I'm the angler, go fish! I, I hate that I just did that voice because my throat hurts. Play a squirrel or any aims it, it'll take your best cards. Oh! Um. There. You're flying underwater. Do I have any blocks? No. I could get the elk fawn to like do some stuff, so. Let's we'll go here. Which fish hard choose? There's that. I go squirrel. Fish your fish easy choose. One, two, three. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna pull out my tooth. And then I'm gonna win this turn by going to five, blow out his candle. Go fish. I thought he was gonna take my squirrel. Oh, I totally banked on him taking my squirrel. Oh, I gotta uh, do a card. Um, let's go here. Let's... Squirrel. We'll get the whole ant squad out. And then go. That's some big fish, baby! I do like wind next turn, though. So I just do like... And then I go here and here and I just win, right? Yeah, I... Okay. That was too easy. That The squirrel ants, though, are insane. Need a light? I do need a light. Your reward. Gek, child 13, and Ouroboros. The eternal serpent. Death strengthen strengthens it forever. It's undying. It costs two, though. I already have a child 13. Like, I don't want to combine the child 13 because I want to move the undying over. And I don't want more than, like, one undying on the field at one time. 
And then they, I'm not, I'm afraid of the Gek. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna take Ouroboros. It costs two though. You considered one of the anglers catches as a meal, but the rank order deterred you. Dinner would have to wait. Alright, what you got? What you got? Let me think. A frigid gust of the wind billowed, unwelcomed into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from the chill in your oh bones. Excuse me, you had ascended to the snow line. Alright, let's move around. It's been a little bit since I've moved around. Oh! Give me that. <gasps> what is he? What is you? I got a dog! I got a doggie! I got a doggie this time. I don't know what it did. What's it do? Oh, 273. I already did that. Oh, give me that! You finally pried my special dagger from the pulse of that squirrel, though I, you may wish that you hadn't. Excuse me? What do you mean you wish that I hadn't? What do you- what do you- the audacity- I'm just kidding, don't hurt me. <laughs> my is unbearable! Even after all these years, what do you want? I have very little to live for these days! May that dagger find its mark, you must be brave. So can I, like, stab it with the dagger? I guess we'll just keep playing. Okay, so this is a trial. I don't know what to do for the trial. Maybe, like, health? Six health, four blood, or five bones. Blood. So I'm gonna get, like, all pelts. I'm gonna get my double pelt. Dang it, dude. None of, none of, I don't think any of it would have worked. No, the health would have done it. I have seven health. Hindsight's 20, 20. God, I hate that. Okay, so we could go fire. We could go that. I'm going to go with the fire. We got a wild, we got like another backpack opportunity up there. I'm pretty okay with my squirrels. One power, the... Uh, group of survivors, we have no food. Enhance its power. Do what you must. Nope, nope, nope. I almost like want to do the Ouroboros. Because like my Ouroboros is going to cost two. And this is like a cool card, right? It's got a different border than all the other ones, right? Like they all, it has this like special border. So, like, it's obviously important. I'm never going to get rid of it. I could just make the bullfrog, like, really, really powerful. I could just make the mantis insane. I'm going to make the mantis insane. I'm investing in this mantis. Please don't eat. Yeah, I, I have no opportunities. Like, I don't think you actually, like, ever lose it. Okay. Squirrel for the ant powers. Worker ant. Cool. Um, what do you got? Moose buck and mole? It's fine. Go elk fawn. Put that there. Get moose buck that does three. Get a powerful elk to hit that. So now I don't want to put. Now I think I just want to do this because I can chain my squirrels. I don't want to make the mole move, right? So I think I'm just going to let the moose buck like hit me. And the buck moved as well. I'm going to move the ant there. No, none of this is needed. 
The moose buck does three. Oh, sugar plums. I should have thought about that. I should have blocked off the elk. I know, I know, I know. I should have blocked off the elk. I keep forgetting about the moving elks. I'm going to do this. I hate the elk. I want to get rid of it. I want to get rid of it. I want an insect. Insect. Beehive? Okay. I don't think the beehive is really going to help. Maybe I go to the backpack. I can't carry anything more. Except this gift from my friend. Whoa! Hey! I'll take that. Nice! I passed on the pack rat earlier. No, I think I got the pack rat earlier, but I died, so I lost. Squirrel. Mantis, baby. Doing a ton of damage. Um... The mole man, the moose buck, moves over. Maybe I go mantis and put it right here. And just... What if I make you pass right now? Two, four. I'm going to make you pass. Let's go boom, boom. I'm obligated to pass. Okay, then we're gonna go here. We're gonna go here. I kinda wanted the pack rat out, but... What is, is it when it dies or when I lay it down? When a card bearing the sigil is played, you will see a random, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of want this now. So I'm gonna get greedy, cause I'm gonna win on this. Okay, I just want that third item, cause I'm gonna win right here, so. Play an item, take the free W. Oh man, my pelts, I don't really, oh no, I have a bunch of teeth actually. I have some teeth, so. Have a free one. A golden pelt for 11. I'm going to go with these. Can I take the 11? I'm going to take the 11. I can't take the six, right? Yeah, I, I need more. So I'll just go a bunch of these. Thank you for your patronage. The pelts, though, in your deck just suck. What about this one? I don't think I have combining cards. So we'll see what else I can do. Flying bugs, flying bugs. We could go bone bugs. We can go ants, like bugs make more bugs. No, I'm like pretty okay with my, I do want this though, because I think I need more heads, but I think I'm okay with this. I think I'm okay with that. Now this is a totem fight. This is what I don't like about going for totems, is I have to do totem fights. Mmm, the magpie. Okay, so I could go here. I can go mantis, play the mantis safely here. The raven egg, though, I don't like that. And then... No, actually, hold on to that. And just go here and go 2-4. Get this and get this. I'm just going to put this here and then just go ahead like an attack. I think I just won. Yeah, I just won. Yeah, ant squirrels are so good. And the mantis is also, like, pretty baller as well. The mantis is really good if you can get it out, especially because it costs one. The creatures of the wild make way for it. The skunk. I don't think I ever, like, will ever use the moose. So I'll just go skunk and then power something up. Maybe the skunk. Or just the mantis. I mean, it's two health, actually, so I don't know. 
Two is pretty good though. Stop this. Do what you must. I could put like more health on the mantis. I haven't seen the Ouroboros yet. I could just like spam health on my mantises to make them like super bulky. All of my worker ants would have plus, would have four health, I think. I'm gonna go with my ant. All of my ants have, all my worker ants have four health. That seems really good when comboing with the squirrel because now we're in another boss battle, a different one, a trapper. A man stood before you, the man you recognized immediately. It was the trapper. You reached out to examine his wares, but he stopped you. Charm, but today you'll supply the pouch. Okay, I don't like that a lot. Okay, let's see if I get a four here. No, I only get a two. Okay, so this wasn't worth it, in my opinion, actually. Now that I know this, it wasn't worth it. Uh, just go. Squirrel, ant. It's gonna take knockouts, but I'm a little afraid of it taking knockouts. No. Oops. Uh, back. I'm gonna let the pelt go. Can I cut up one of these? I can. We're gonna let it go. Okay, so it automatically killed that. That's kind of what I figured would happen. I just didn't want to lose all of my uh, ants. So we'll go here. I'm gonna play this one for the excess damage. Cause I think we just win at that, right? Yeah, KO. Okay, maybe not. Um, Squirrel, I guess, right? go here I'm not pulling any like attacking things oh but I just win because of that oh because of that health boost that's right so I go here I mean I guess it doesn't actually matter what I do well, I needed to put an ant down because it'll just do way more damage, but... Oh, wait, should I have waited? What's he gonna do? Let's trade. Trade? I only accept the finest pelts for them. The rest may stay and fight for me. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to take that. Um, oh, frick, dude. Um... Upgrade wolf is really scary. Stinky moose is really scary. Blocking. I'm gonna take the shark. Um, I have how many more wolf pelts? One. I'm gonna take flying grizzly. I would have chosen differently. Okay, um, I still get a free turn actually. So like, could I just win this turn actually? Now that I think about it, hold on. What? Can I just like win this turn? Cause I have a four ant board now. Oh my God, the ants are disgusting. Those squirrel ants are so good. 
I should have just taken like the rose. I didn't realize that my ants would live. Every other thing, every other boss has killed my like things that are on the board. So I just assumed that these ants were dead. Your lives are restored. Nice. Ants are insane. Face to face, another achievement. Choose carefully. Can I get an ant? Can I get an ant? Stuart Starworth Moorman, the ultimate defense. He does move six. Amobia? The amorphous Amobia. Its sigils are ever changing. I think I want the Mole Man. I need a tighter, like, defense, I feel like. With the enigmatic trapper and trader now bleeding in the snow, you persisted. You can see a light in the distance. The end is near. Am I almost to the end of this game already? Oh, okay. Oh, yes, I know. Uh, I was just going to end the episode right here, but it looks like we're coming to, like, the boss fight. Um, Let's combine some dudes. Let's do some combining. Hello. Um... I could combine the beehive. What does the beehive do again? Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, a bee is created in your hand. A bee is defined as one power, one health, airborne. I'm going to do the beehive. And I'm going to try to connect it to like the mole man or something. Can I connect it to the mole man? <gasps> oh, this would be insane. He's got so many things! Mole Man's insane. Your eyes have fixed themselves on the small cabin. It's warm light to beacon in the oppressive darkness in the night. Surely, surely this cabin marked the end of your travels. Okay. Oh, this is pretty. There's nothing here? Hey! What is it? Oh, that's a hand! Hello. Steps away from the strange cabin, you are presented with an opportunity. I don't offer my boons to just any traveler. If you are unable to pass my trials, you will be rewarded mightily. Oh God, it's a trial? Oh no, dude. The trial of rarity. The three drawn cards must include a rare card. The Trial of the Winged. The three drawn cards must include a card with the airborne sigil. No way. No way. Ah, uh, and I can't redo it? What is this? 11? What is... This is something, right? Right here? There's no way this is not something. What is... Is this the clock? Just 11? Remember that. I'm gonna do this one, because this is the only shot that I have. The Trial of Rarity. Is, it, is this rare? No, that's not rare, frick. I think my Ouroboros is a rare one. We will repeat that once more. Trial of skins, draw three cards in Oh yeah, that one, definitely. 100%, 100%, give me a pelt. I've gotten a pelt in like almost every single trial that I've done. Give me a pelt, give me a pelt. Yeah, baby. A rabbit pelt is a pelt card, success. I will grant you one of my most powerful boons. Cards that might dramatically alter the game. You don't even need to draw them. The Bone Lord, you will start it with eight bones. The Boon of the Magpie's Eye, when you draw from your deck, you may choose a card in your deck to draw. That's broken. The Boon of the Ampidextrous, you may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. I want the Magpie, 100%, 100%. Just check into. We are. Would you get so big? You've been drinking milk. You managed to get a boon. This may be a fair competition. I'm in. I 
think? I'm in? I think I'm in. Hey. Ooh. Did you do something with your uh, beard today? You took your time out there. And I'm itching for another game. Are you ready to play? Yeah. I think so. All right. Hope you're adequately prepared. I do have this. I don't know what that does, though. I got my squirrels. I got my smoke. Perhaps one more to be safe. What? You're cheating. No. Give me back my other light if you're going to light one. Oh, you turd, muncher. Oh, he's got all the masks. Oh, the Ouroboros, finally. This is my first time seeing it in the flesh. Uh, Mole Man can never hurt me. Mantis God will hit all three ways. What if I go my Mantis? I'm going to hit three on that Mole Man. Would it go three and then three and knock him out? Because that would actually be really good if I could do that. And then I'm going to put the squirrel or the worker ant there. And we're just going to go. Oh, nice. That was so good, dude. Don't you dare put your grubby little pickaxe on my stuff. I think this is a win, though, right? Right here. That's like eight extra. It only blew out one candle, though. You capably endured the onslaught of rare creatures, but the true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appeared before you. In their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship, but colored by guilt. They were betraying you. Reginald Casey! I mean... This just like wins, right? This round? Three, six? Yeah, this just wins this round. That's nine, actually. So yeah, I just won that round. This damned moon. It's dramatic, yes. But it proves no value to my board. I wonder... You're just gonna throw him! Oh! What? Now that is value. I mean, I'm pretty, like, set right now. I mean, my Mantis is gonna die, but then everything else... Like, I just put another Ant down, and I just do 12 damage a turn. So I don't know what to tell you, dude. I'm just going. I will lose, like, all of my Ants next turn, which doesn't feel good, but... I think I'm okay. Because I'll continue having ants on the board. And I just go worker ant to go here. And then I go worker ant to go here. And now I do enough damage to win. You really destroyed the moon. I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. Go on. I'm gonna draw a card. I'm gonna draw a card. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this. And I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna go home 12! Fear my hand squirrels! Fool. Nice. GG's. Well played. Nice. Enduring victory. Did I just beat the game? Is that it? Oh my. Did I just. I think I just beat him. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right. In the beginning, it was like a game. That's not the same company as before. Hey, he's 
said a bad word. How do I go back? Escape? Oh, escape. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today, I am opening Catch Monsters. Oh my gosh, this is... Epic, shiny this is the Sanger! number... This is every yeah, Pokemon card good. opener YouTuber besides OK J Love. That guy's okay, awesome. You should watch him. I am about to open my first pack. Feeling good about this one. Oh my god, this is like literally every Poketuber like that opens up Pokemon cards. This is every uh Ooh, what do we got here? Okay. Well, he's not even showing the cards. Rare is a Birchkin. He didn't even do a card trick. Not exactly a viable competitive card, but hey, it's a pretty one. Alright. What about the card trick? Next pack. Feeling even better about this one. Oh, feeling even better. Yeah, this is... <laughs> say, these cards are feeling extra silky today. I wonder if this is the guy that made the game. They're so smooth. Not sure what they're doing down there at the uh, the card factory, but um, these are feeling good in my hands. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Some jank cards. Maybe a few additions to my draft cube. We'll yeah, maybe some additions to my uh, Pokemon deck, you know. For this pack is... Bandog! Malamar! It's actually riveting so far, but we have many packs to go. Next pack, here we come! Is he getting a phone call? Just cut out this part. So weird. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is a vintage pack opening video. Okay, real talk, yeah, Lucky Carter's actually like a pretty decent name. At a garage sale. I've got four packs of Inscription. You would not believe the deal I got on these. Now, not all of you will even remember this game. I'm barely old enough to have uh, seen these going around in my childhood. Uh, for whatever reason, they only did one set of these cards and then stopped printing them. Uh, there's not a huge market for them anymore, but at the rate I got them for, there's not really much to read. What rate did you get them that for, though? Said, a foil Mantis God goes for a couple hundred bucks, so fingers crossed. Mantis God? I got a good Mantis in that game. Really cool art on these. Show me the art! The test of time. And our rare for this pack is Blue Mage. Wait, that's not our cool cards. But not going to be worth very much. All right. Let's see what we got going on in the second pack. Huh. Duh. This pack has been opened. And <laughs> resealed. Hope no one snuck the rare out of it. Are there G.I. Joe cards in there? <laughs> Come on, people. Honestly. Who opens and reseals a pack? There's a set of coordinates on this card. Looks like they were drawn on with a pen. Did you just say coordinates? 49 degrees north, 123 degrees west. Uh, I think... I'd have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. How do you just know that off the top of your head? Like, oh, let me just pull out my coordinate map in my brain real quick. Oh, yeah, we're over at 5183. <laughs> this is riveting, actually. All right, you guys. I'm out here living my best life. I'm sure you are, buddy. Got my trusty headlamp and shovel. Hey, I don't know if you knew this, but you're supposed to wear your headlamp on your head, you know, when I digress. Always come prepared, kids. Oh, there you go. Okay, you're gonna... Oh, it's not actually a headlamp. It's just a lamp. Okay, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Whew. Getting close. I think. Assuming there is... A thing to get close to. This very well may be a massive waste of. This guy's dead.
This video right here, he's dead. All right, get your game theory notepads out. Play this in reverse. Put the volume all the way upside down and, and figure out what, what that says. All right. That's why you always bring an extra battery, boys and girls. Wait, Every but his time. battery was like three-fourths earlier. <sighs> What's going on? Do you know where you're going, Mr. Coordinates? All right. This is it. And now we dig. Now <laughs> we dig, of course, yes. Wow, great digging skills, sir. Let me know when you hit the Atlantic Ocean. I give a 75% chance it's a rock. But only one way to find out. Oh, there he goes. What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Careful with that. Oh my god, you guys, I can't believe it. There's actually something here. Oh, you like broke it open. What? Is that a floppy disk? What the fuck? Guys, are you seeing this? Yeah, I, I see it in your camera. I'm, uh,. I'm a little confused. Me too. Why are you running? Wait, why are you? Hold on. Why did you just start running? <laughs> I know, right? Oh God, it's our squirrel. The Steamboat Willie. Wow, great video. <laughs> that was a little terrifying. Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. Okay! <laughs> Is this the game? That's the exact same sequence. So yeah, that's just, I mean, we're, we were him playing that game, right? Like we have to be. That's the same exact thing. I mean, that's, that's gotta be the same thing, right? Is there no more? Yeah. Recording? Do you uh, recording? What are we recording here? What is this? I do not celebrate often, and I seldom give gifts. But you, challenger, you're worthy. Please do not be polite. Dig in. I can't get up. Is there something wrong? Your prize awaits. Very well. Come with me. Stand right there. We're gonna get our picture taken. I need to get the I need to get the roll of film. Where's the roll of? I can't move. I can't grab anything. This had no film in it earlier, and I tried to take a picture of him. That tells me that I have to like get film. <gasps> this is the door. This is the door. This is the 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 the, the, the door. That I can't get into. Oh my god. This is the do this is the door. This is a hundred percent the door. Am I locked in here? Are my past dead bodies locked in here? I don't know. 
Well, I can't move, so... Ah! Please do not be foolish. There's no film in there. I will need that. Ah, sorry! 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 <laughs> I hate that ad. You challenge our champion, and I wish to commemorate your victory. Yay, look, there's me. Please inscribe your name. Uh, I'll put Jacob, because this is my third try. <laughs> so, third name. Shh, do not despair. Do not despair? Your winner. Don't despair? I gotta get a roll of film. How is this game not over yet? Is this the... Is this the beginning? The last challenger managed to defeat me. A rare event. Go and ask how they did it. You'll find them hanging from the door over there. I got a hook. A gift from the angler. You see, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if you were to fail the prospector before he was given that chance. The hook is powerful. You may steal one of my cards with it. For that person, you will not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. Your starting deck. Wh are you okay there, Mr. Stout? You also look different. You look prettier. Okay. This is so weird. Hold on. There's me! A Jacob! This is the door. This is the door that I was talking about. The flashes in here are like pictures being taken. Where is the roll of film? Talk to me! Rival of mine, the fisherman, uh, it's uh, best of me last time. Can you? Though I had hoped that it would bring the freedom for that to happen, I think you need something special up your sleeve. I need a river snapper. This is a board state right here. I'd have to go watch the film. I haven't watched the film from episode one when, it, when the thing like opened up. But I'm going to look at what the picture said and what, like, I had on the board. Because I feel like if I put this board state down, it, like, opens this. Because this is a board state. And it, it did the thing when I played a card. So I'm assuming that I accidentally, like, did the board state. Um, let's move this to 11. No. <gasps> Does it fit? I have a ring. What does a ring do, though? Okay, so you're not going to give me anything. Light that out. Ooh! I do relish... I do relish snuffling out your excess candles before boss. Perhaps you will now enjoy it as much as I do. I got another one of those dudes? <gasps> do I have two now? Also, these here... There is something with this, and I don't know what it is. I'm going to take your shiny teeth and me. DMCA incoming copyright claim by Chip Skylark. Huh. All right. Well, that's going to be all for this episode. We did end up beating a round and now we're kind of back to the beginning. So we'll see what keeps going on. I'm not exactly sure where it goes from here. I just need to know that I need to find some film for that camera and we got a little bit closer here in this episode because we did get the ring i'm wondering what the scuba duba dive guy does and then the angler as well 
probably unlocks some secrets. But if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to again, like, comment, subscribe, and come back for more of this playthrough. Check out these other videos that I got up here, including the first episode if you did not see it earlier, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.